friends uh, today we will discuss the data handling uh, technique uh, basically this data handling techniques are uh, important data handling and big data is important uh, in data analytics uh, i am dr sarika panwar assistant professor in antc department of ais sms iit uh, would like to uh, take you uh, through the topic that is data handling data handling uh, actually it ensures the research data uh, which is stored uh, archived or disposed of in a safe and secure manner during and after the conclusion of research project we know students that now we are in the era of uh, uh, machine learning artificial intelligence and data and uh, data analytics so uh, every time when we uh, uh, execute any project or when we work on any research project we have to handle the data okay so data handling techniques ensures the research data uh, that is stored archived or disposed of in a safe and secure manner during and after the conclusion of research project uh, it includes the development of policies and procedures to manage the data handle electronically as well as through non electronic manner so uh, we know that nowadays we are dealing with the big data what do you mean by big data the data which is voluminous in nature which is having a high volume large volume is nothing but a big data it is big data is generated due to the heavy uh, traffic of uh, uh, iot devices then a huge amount of data generated by deployed sensors um, is also one of the reason of the uh, big data as far as data is concerned the data can be of different types the data can be structured data and unstructured data data that can be easily organized is nothing but your structured data usually uh, it is stored in the relational databases uh, like the arrays in c structured query language sql manages the structured data it cannot manage the unstructured data and one more very important thing is that today whatever data we handle so 20% of it is the unstructured data now unstructured data do not possess any predefined model like uh, uh, see traditional uh, rdmm uh, rdbms that is uh, relational database management uh, systems cannot process the unstructured data it can deal with the structured data only so unstructured data actually enhances the uh, uh, ability to provide better insight to huge data sets most of the 80% uh, of the data in the world is uh, unstructured data today now we will see what do you mean by big data technologies it describes a new generation of technologies and architectures designed to economically extract value from very large volumes of a variety, wide variety of data by enabling the high velocity capture discovery and or analysis big data technologies are nothing but the new technologies and architectures which are specifically designed to extract the value information knowledge from a very large volume of data which is nothing but big data so what we do to extract the knowledge we enable it by by high velocity capture discovery and or analysis so big data shall mean the data which is of the high volume acquisition speed may be high then data representation also limits the capacity of using traditional relational methods okay that's why it is said that big data cannot be managed by traditional meth uh, traditional methods or tra uh, traditional database management systems like rdmms rdbms there are various characteristics to the big data 
now we will discuss the seven very important characteristics of big data seven very important characteristics of big data are volume velocity variety variability veracity visualization and value now see what do you mean by volume of a data it is one of the very important characteristics which make it big in volume so volume is nothing but the quantity of the data that is generated sources of data are added continuously examples of voluminous data are nothing but our youtube data we know that at every minute 72 hours of video are uploaded on youtube like uh, 30 terabytes of images are generated every night from the large synaptic survey telescope that is lsst other than that we are using nowadays facebook which is also uh, the example of big data where at every second the number of images are uploaded on the uh, facebook and now next comes the velocity we can understand the volume term but what do you mean by velocity velocity is nothing but the uh, speed of generation of data we know that now we uh, in in the uh, era of machine learning in the era of internet of things we are dealing with the real time data which is generated with very high speed okay and if the data is of very high speed then the data processing um uh, time should also be decreased uh, to provide the real time services older batch processing technologies the traditional methods the traditional technologies are not able to handle the high velocity of data examples of high velocity of data are uh, the text data that is nothing but the tweets 140 million tweets per day on an average are generated then stock exchange data is also one of the example of high velocity data in every second the uh, stock exchange uh, generates the new data so new york stock exchange captures 1 terabyte of trade information during each trading session <clears throat> then next to uh, characteristics is variety variety Uh, refers to the category to which the data belong uh, we know that data can be in the form of text it can be in, it can be in the form of images audio video web gps data sensor data sms documents pdfs flash etc in these all varieties the data um, is available okay as such there is no restriction over the input data formats okay data can be uh, in any format and most of the time data is unstructured or semi structured so uh, if the data in in all this uh, variety is generated then we can say that uh, it is having the differing variety then next comes the variability variability refers to the data whose meaning is constantly changing meaning of the data is obviously it depends on the context of the data data appear as an indecipherable mass without structure example is language processing hashtags geospatial data multimedia sensor events okay so that refers to the variability then veracity veracity refers to the biases noise and abnormality in data Uh, we know that uh, most of the time the data raw data it may be uh, inconsistent there may be some missing values there may be some biases there may be some abnormality in the data okay so that re that uh, refers to the veracity so it is important uh, that um, all these uh, noise abnormality inconsistencies missing value should be removed before we uh, uh, analyze the data so that our final uh, result will not be affected so ver ver veracity is not just about the data quality it's about the data understandability also then visualization visualization is nothing but the representation of data in a pictorial or graphical format we know that uh, with the 
a visualization of data the proper interpretation and data trained can be studied okay so basically there are different methods of data visualization data can be visualized uh, properly in a uh, tabular format then in tabular format also there are different types like pivot table is there uh, cross table is there then as far as graphical formats are uh, concerned then there are uh, uh, bar graph technique uh, of uh, visualization then uh, uh, there are a scatter plot technique is also there box plot technique is also there okay so by using this visualization method the data can be presented properly and properly presented data can be interpreted and analyzed properly so that we will get the final results uh, properly okay so it also helps in identifying the new patterns or uh, uh, if uh, there is any outlier if there is any missing value in a data then that can also be uh, properly interpreted by using the visualization Oh, then next comes the value value is nothing but extracting some knowledge out of the data it means extracting the useful business information from the scattered data from the raw data okay so uh, what is the uh, aim of collecting the data we uh, we always try to extract some useful information we try to extract some knowledge we try to analyze the data for a particular application for for uh, coming to some conclusion so uh, extracting the value out extracting the useful information from the data is nothing but its value okay it includes a large volume uh, we know that uh, a large volume and variety of data is available so by properly uh, extracting uh, some value out of it we can get some decision we can come to some conclusion uh, from that data uh, and it will be easy to access and deliver uh, the quality analytics that enables the informed decision. Thank you very much student.